Paula Trevelyne, the Lady Death. Killing the first of her enemies with only 11, Paula had been running her father's pub, until the day Blackjack McGee, the man who murdered her mother while she was hiding in the closet, goes through its door. With poisoned fingernails and a bullet between his eyes, Paula claimed his banshee as a prize, assumed her new identity, and started her piracy life. Her arrogant and cruel ways led her to the position of senior maid on the Council of the Damned, soon challenging and overcoming Lord Calvin Bardinus to become the supreme leader of the pirates of Tortuga Dominion. With armies of cutthroat like assassins and her venomous claws, the now in her prime pirate queen of waist length red hair and gray eyes, tall and muscular, employed her pirates and the Federated Sons and neighbors. First Prince Hans Davion hunted down Treveline, losing 900 infantrymen, a battalion of armored vehicles, a wing of aerospace fighters, including two dropships, and two companies of battle mechs, to send her to a maximum security prison. Escaping 22 years later, Treveline sent out a call, selecting only the very best from the thousands who answered, to create the Death's consorts, with which she seized control of the Pirate's Haven star cluster from the Pirate Lord, Bloody James Caton. Setting up and fortifying her position, she had her tech to build her own light mech, the Brigand. Later, her consorts assaulted the Tortuga Dominion, reasserting her control over it. Entering the service of the Malagrata Cooperative as mercenaries with a letter of marquee, Traveline was allegedly murdered by Marion Wilshire, the Cooperative's elected leader. Subscribe for more videos like this. Bye for now.